Shalom brothers and sisters who have arrived here on this channel. In, in this video right now, I'm going to show you guys how Virgo marks the midnight hour. So you guys must have your midnight hour oil in order for you to enter the wedding supper of the Lamb. So in my previous video, we were inside the ark expecting the rapture to happen on the full moon which was the full moon of the month of Av, which is the month when the sun and the moon is highlighting the constellation of Leo the lion, the fifth constellation in the fifth month called Av. However, we know and most of the watchmen are following the tradition of the Jewish calendar, which they are following tradition and not the sun, moon and stars, therefore they are one month in advance, what we are calling Av, the fifth month, they are calling Elu, the sixth month, so they are one ahead of us. But we are following what the sun, moon and stars are pointing here, so the sun and the new moon started the month of the lion, the month of Av, and on the full moon we were expecting the rapture because it was to Be'av, the middle of the month of Av, and that is the day of marriages. That's the day when the brides, bridesmaids are taken to be uh, to the wedding. So we were expecting this. We were inside this ark. I hope you are still inside the ark because right now, as we have passed this full moon, we have only one option left, which is the next new moon. So I was thinking about this, and I believe the full the full moon rapture didn't happen because although it was very relevant for us in the month of Av, in the month of the Lion, still it wasn't relevant for the Jews because the full moon of the sixth month means nothing to them, means nothing for the Bible. So uh, it would only uh, work on one calendar, which the minority of people around the world. Uh, understands but now the next high watch date which is right the next new moon is going to be the new moon when the Sun and the moon are pointing the constellation of Virgo that's when the Jews are calling Feast of Trumpets that's when the Jews will be calling the month of Tishrei the change of the calendar for them from 5783 to 5784 or to be corrected, 5993 to 5994, starting the last uh, seven years until the sixth millennium for them. So for them, the next new moon will be Feast of Trumpets, a change in calendar. And for us, it will be the first day of Elu, which is the, the, the day that Moses went up to the mountain. I believe Joshua also went up to the mountain at that moment. And... Elu is the month of harvest, is the month of the virgin, because it will be the harvest of the wise virgins that will be taken towards the Father's house. So for the Jews, Feast of Trumpets, for us, Elu won the harvest. And we have high expectation on this moment, because if you take a look on the clock and you shift the clock 180 degrees, you will see that although we are in the sixth month, in the correct month, this sixth month here was once the twelfth month because the calendars before Moses uh, worked in this way and then God shifted the calendars with Moses calling the month of Aries the first month instead of the seventh month. So therefore, both calendars were uh, are working this way. Let me just... Uh, change like this for it will be easier for you to see so we are now uh, approaching the new moon of Virgo which is for us the sixth month when it is highlighted in yellowish color and but that used to be the 12th month uh, highlighted there in a white color so on white you see the previous uh, month numbers for them for the constellations and on yellowish we see the current uh, month numbers for the constellations all of that because Moses uh, because God told Moses to call Aries the first month the month of the Passover the month of the lamb that's when we started to call Aries the first month and so on until the Virgo is the sixth month but it used to be the 12 months so 
either Virgo and Pisces, they could be either the 6th or the 12th month. Which is very interesting because we can be right there at the midnight hour with both the sun and the moon pointing the constellation of Virgo. And that's how we realize that this works just like a clock, a watch that we can watch to know the times and the seasons and the hour because we have been looking at this so deeply that we have been even studying the milliseconds which are the asteroids and the comets that moves around our firmament there to point even the minute the milliseconds there so if we highlight here the constellation of Virgo and go to see what's happening there when the Sun is in Virgo and the moon is also here being sighted the new moon in the constellation of Virgo that's when we see several things aligning here which are the small asteroids with their names so you must have already understood this because basically every channel in English they are talking about this but just to summarize here we see this for the Jews Feast of Trumpets the change in their calendar for us one month before the change in calendar Elu one rapture of the harvest of Elu the Virgin and that's when we see the constellation the asteroid called child being there so just like in Revelation 12 the child is caught up to the heavens to be in the throne of God so the child of this woman here the woman represents uh, Israel because it has a crown of 12 stars in the head that means the 12 tribes of Israel so the child of Israel which is us the church came from Israel started from Israel was birthed from Israel and the child is the church which will be raptured out so the child is here in this moment of time also the asteroid called United Nations precisely there and that's when the United Nations will do uh, for sure they will make a, a deal with seven more years for this agenda 2030 they will confirm this deal for seven more years just like Daniel 927 says that it will happen so this could very much be the seven years remaining of the Antichrist that will happen on the next new moon and an asteroid called the United Nations is right there what else we also have an asteroid called Israel and Israel is the name of this woman here Israel is the one that will be left behind to go through the last week of Daniel the tribulation and Israel is the mother of the child here because uh, the Jews are the mother of the church the church was birthed from Israel but Israel is also a person his name used to be Jacob and Jacob he uh, married uh, the daughters of Laban and Laban is also an asteroid which is here and talking about the wives of Jacob which is now Israel the first one is Leah and also an asteroid called Leah is right here so we have Israel we have Laban we have Leah and Leah uh, represents the church because it's the eldest of the two daughters of Laban and is the one that have seven child seven children so the seven children represent the seven churches of Revelation to finish this off very beautifully we also have here the asteroid called Yeshua which is Yeshua which is Jesus so we have basically here uh, a portrait in the skies a beautiful scenario in which we see the child uh, leaving while the United Station United Nations create this seven-year deal and we see that representing here who was taken is the child that was born from Leah that is the daughter of Laban which married Israel and Israel is left behind and you know that this daughter is the one that will marry Jesus Yeshua there in the skies so the bride of Christ so this beautiful picture here that I just chose six six asteroids to be here but you know the the channel uh, the uh, the channel in the in English there that have many other asteroids there they are even more interesting than what I'm showing you guys here but this six is more than enough for you to see that what's happening in the skies is something amazing incredible that won't happen again 
and it's pointing right there in the, at the midnight hour, which is the sun highlighting the Virgin, while the new moon is being sighted at the Virgin's feet. So perfect scenario, which will take us to a high, very high watch date, because that's the last possible moment of the summer for us to leave on the summer to be the summer harvest before September 21st, which will be September 23rd, I guess, which will be the beginning of fall. So, taking a look here, we are moving from September, the beginning of September, high watch date, until the middle of September, right there, at the moment, moment where they will confirm this seven year, year, year deal for the 2030 agenda, right there at the new moon, right there as the asteroids, the sun, moon, are highlighting the constellation of Virgo, which for us will be Eluan, the month of harvest, the moment, the month where Moses ascended into the mountain, and for the Jews, trumpets. So for them, it will be the day that nobody knows the day or the hour because it starts on a new moon. So very interesting. It works on both calendars here. This moment of time that we have been expecting basically is the last moment because the United Nations will be there making this seven-year deal. The Jews will be tra transitioning their 5783 calendar to 5784 so they will have about seven years left for the 6,000 years so that's that's it I don't think there will be another deal that they will make and then confirm for seven more years in a near future I don't think those asteroids will align again so perfectly at this moment we are at this time frame on 923 which is September of 2023 which are the codes highlighted in many movies series propaganda all over for the past I don't know 10 years it is a uh, convergence of many signs since the Revelation 12 sign in 2017 and it is the last possible moment for the summer harvest so can we expect for sure the rapture to be right now I think so I really hope so I cannot see this going much further especially because one month from now, from the next new moon, on the new moon of October, there will be a ring of fire eclipse, which will be the true Feast of Trumpets, and that will happen precisely on the finger of the Virgin, um, portraying in the skies there that a marriage took place, and now this Virgin is now a wife. So very interesting uh, information that we have happening in the skies, also aligning with the things that are happening on Earth, aligning and converging every sign that we have since the beginning of 2014-15 until here. So we have a high, very high watch date to expect the rapture for the next new moon. For many watchmen it will be Feast of Trumpets, it's okay with that. For us it will still be in the month of Elu, the harvest of Elu, because Elu means harvest. The ascension of Moses into the, the Mount Sinai. So, very interesting possibility there from September 15 all the way until September 19. That's the time frame that we have to expect the rapture of the church. And I think this has to be it because otherwise we'll have to reevaluate many, many things. And I don't think there will be such a convergence like this one uh, in the near future. So, I really hope this is it. I really hope that our job as a watchman is done, it's complete because we have been doing this for a long time now, about seven years as well, and as farther as I can see, this has to be it, because the asteroids, the, the convergence, both calendars, Jewish and the correct one, the United Nations, the signs, the, the great, great deception, the great reset, they want to enforce on October more ma masks again, more uh, things in order to prevent for the next problem that they will create for them to accept the market of beast in the end so it is all set this all ready we just need to leave here for the Antichrist to make this seven-year government of his so for me this seems to be it I really hope it is and I hope that you are very blessed by this video knowing that now Virgo the constellation of Virgo and the Sun and the moon there also can uh, portray a midnight hour that we have been expecting and the midnight hour that's when we have to 
We need to have our oil to be the wise virgins that will enter the marriage. That's also uh, fulfilling Matthew 25. So this is just a quick update, a compilation of things, adding up that Virgo might be truly the midnight hour, which used to be before Moses, and it could be right now as well. So very beautifully, what's happening in the world, in the skies, and I hope that you are very blessed by this. I hope to see you guys very, very soon in the kingdom of our beloved Father, our beloved God, Jesus Christ, which is waiting for us, waiting for this moment for 2,000 years. We have been waiting for this moment, I don't know, a couple uh, decades at most, but we are seeing this with our own eyes and we are very excited to be here finally. I hope to meet you guys there in the air very soon, or if it doesn't happen again, we will still be here studying and watching because that's our job, that's our ministry, and we will continue to do this until the time comes. Amen? It will be worth uh, in the end having done this, having watching this, because that's the most important things in our lives. Amen? Maranatha, I hope that you're blessed. I hope to see you very, very soon. Maranatha.